Today we're going to be revisiting one of our old friends on this channel, a man by the name of Kirk Cameron. You may remember that towards Christmas, at the end of last year, I talked about Kirk Cameron and his sister Candace Cameron, former teen stars of the show's Growing Pains and Full House, former sitcom TV child stars who grew up to become extremely Christian right-wing influencers. As I've said before, nothing wrong with being open about your religious beliefs and when you're a public figure, nothing wrong about that. What's wrong is when you try to force it on other people. Oh, this is like gay. It's so gay. Now we started talking last year about Candace Cameron who didn't want to get involved with any same gender romances in movies on the Hallmark Channel. So she left to go join this thing called the Great American Family Network, which was going to focus on traditional marriage and all of that stuff. And then after that, Kirk Cameron announced that he was releasing a children's book of his own, a book called As You Grow, which on the surface, there's nothing really wrong with the book. It does have kind of a biblical angle to it, but children's books with religious storytelling in them are nothing new. The issue was that he started playing the victim, making a whole thing about how no libraries wanted to host his reading for the book, which then led us down the rabbit hole of the Brave Books Publishing Company, which is the publisher that put out Kirk Cameron's book, As You Grow. I then actually reviewed that book on this channel with my friend Reads with Rachel, a fellow book reviewer here on YouTube. The two of us read the book, Kirk, no one's discriminating against you for being a Christian. The book was just bad. It just wasn't a good book, dude. It didn't make any sense. The plot was all over the place. You can watch that video if you want to see more of that. But with all of that going on, there has been an update in the whole Kirk Cameron, the author saga. As we know, Kirk Cameron absolutely loves books. Otherwise, why would he write a children's book? You don't write a book unless you love books. And in his powerful and passionate love for literature and books and giving kids access to reading and literature, he got a librarian fired. Yep, that's what we're going to talk about today. How Kirk Cameron's book reading at the library ended up with the library director being fired. Let's talk about it. Let's go! What's up my fellow small business supporters? I'm Savvy, welcome back to Savvy Writes Books, the channel where we talk about books and business. Today we've got some more news from the book world, the book publishing world, the library world. Lately I think I'm gonna be talking a decent amount about some of the politically charged attacks on books and on literature out there because they're really, really getting to me as, a, as an author and as a book lover myself. But we'll get into all of that in just a minute. Before we do, please don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to this channel if you're new here because I put out videos about books and business multiple times throughout the week. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you get notified and get an alert when a new video comes out. And if you're more interested in getting to see some behind the scenes stuff about how I create my own books, my writing process, my publishing process, what I've learned from working as a book publisher and all of that type of stuff, you can check out my Patreon page which is linked in the description below. There you will find all kinds of Patreon exclusive blog posts which I post once to twice per week. And in addition to that, I have polls available for people to vote on what books I'm going to review next or what type of video you wanna see or what thumbnail to use, all that kind of stuff. And while you're at it, when you're in that description below, don't forget to check out the list of my Patreon supporters listed there because $5 a month and up Patreon supporters have the option to link their own small business, social media page, cause they care about, whatever link they want in my description below. So thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel and bringing today's video to you all. Now let's talk about Kirk Cameron's recent shenanigans. All right, so this article is from WZTV. Looks like a local news source. The article is called Library Director Fired for Trying to Relocate Book Reading. So here we've got a picture of the board hearing to fire this guy. Let's talk about what happened. A Tennessee a Tennessee librarian is out of a job after trying to relocate a group reading of Kirk Cameron's book, As You Grow. Cameron, the former actor best known for his Golden Globe-nominated role on Growing Pains, wrote the children's book last year as part of his current work as an evangelist. Now, we remember that the big controversy Kirk Cameron got into at the end of 2022 was that he was saying, all oh, libraries don't want to host my book readings. They don't want me reading my book to the kids. They're totally fine with reading LGBTQ books to the kids, but they won't let me read my good Christian book. That's because I'm being discriminated against as a Christian. And at first I was kind of like, well, maybe it's because you're Kirk Cameron and you're just really annoying. Maybe it's because your book kind of sucks. Turns out there are plenty of libraries willing to host Kirk Cameron and he was just probably gaining attention for publicity. As it turns out, he was doing a reading at a library. A librarian 
suggested to relocate it. So could that potentially mean that Kirk Cameron was being discriminated against by the library? That the library wanted to relocate the reading because they didn't want Kirk Cameron to spread a good Christian message to our children? No, that's actually not what happened. Let's get into it. Since publishing the book, Cameron has toured the country doing reading events in partnership with publisher Brave Books, which publishes children's books rooted in traditional conservative interpretations of biblical views. That's a really charitable way of putting what Brave Books does. When I was a little Catholic child, I had an illustrated children's Bible. That is not what Brave Books puts out. We reviewed multiple books by Brave Books on this channel, including our most recent one, Libs of TikTok's book that makes no fucking sense. Brave Books is a company that cares more about profit than about literature. And I feel comfortable saying that based on the fact that they are regularly publishing books written by political influencers who aren't people who have ever expressed any desire in writing a book or in children's education or in children's literature before, but they are big name people who have controversial things attached to them. They have a controversial presence on the internet and in our culture overall. And because of that, they can get a lot of publicity when they put out a book and then a lot of copies will sell because their fans will be trying really hard to defend them against the woke left who's just there to hate them. The books are not really about anything biblical. They don't really teach you any values. What they do is usually try to string together a very loose story that doesn't have character motivations that make a lot of sense. It's often unclear what the plot truly is because it is a thinly veiled metaphor for something that's going on in the world right now. For example, Libs of TikTok's book is a book about how we should never listen to our teachers because our teachers are trying to feed us to wolves. And we should always tell our parents every single thing that our teacher says. And if our parents disagree with anything, it's because they want us to be protected from the wolves eating us. The, the plot doesn't make sense. I did a whole review of that. Anyway, Brave Books is a hot mess of a company. I kind of love following it on this channel just because of how incredibly ridiculous it is. So we'll probably review more books from them in the future. Oh, we also reviewed Steven Crowder's book, which was also poorly written and didn't have any actual plot or storyline. And it was trying to spread a message about how boys and girls are inherently different and in the process outlined zero differences. So we can see the kind of quality of books Brave Books is putting out, okay? Traditional conservative of interpretations of biblical views that's <laughs> oh my goodness one such event which featured cameron reading as well as appearances from former university of kentucky women swimmer riley gaines and missy robertson of duck dynasty took place on february 25th at a library in hendersonville tennessee so here's what Kirk Cameron tweeted about the event. Despite the rain and the unkind pushback from one disgruntled librarian, Kirk Cameron's over here, oh, this disgruntled librarian was not doing a good enough job. He was disgruntled at me. I am mad at the public servant who is working for our government institution. Thank you, Kirk Cameron. All right, so he's upset at the librarian. Despite him, and despite an overflow crowd of families, mayors, county commissioners, and celebs welcomed and joined us at the library in Hendersonville, Tennessee for singing the national anthem, Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag, praying and teaching faith in God and moral values to our kids. Hashtag be brave. Okay. So as we know, libraries are publicly funded government institutions. So even if Kirk Cameron was denied a spot at a library in the past due to his book having a religious angle, we do have to remember that because our country has freedom of religion, that means that you can't necessarily use publicly funded platforms to specifically push one religious ideology over others. That's why it's fine for kids in public schools to celebrate a certain religious holiday or to pray if that's what they want to do, but a teacher can't be formally leading the class in a prayer or can't be formally trying to create some type of religious ceremony in the classroom because everyone is going to have a different religion and a publicly funded institution can't push one religion over another. At least that's how it's supposed to go in theory according to the Constitution. I care about the First Amendment. I don't know about you guys. That's how it's supposed to go. As we know, it doesn't always go that way. We see lots of public institutions specifically prioritizing religious works usually in the Christian section, specifically that. We don't usually see them promoting as much in terms of like Islamic works, Jewish works, Hindu works. We're not seeing that as much. It's normally Christian leaning. I'm not gonna have an opinion on that either way. All I'm here to say is that Kirk Cameron did get his spot at the library reading a book. It seems like it was a success. So why did he need to go and get a librarian fired for doing what he wanted all along? Let's find out. 
So here's pictures of Kirk Cameron reading the book. Looks like he had a good time. I'm glad everyone had fun. The library director, Alan Morales, suggested the event be moved to a large church due to interest. Some, including Cameron, viewed this as a retaliation for the book's biblical principles. So Kirk Cameron's over here claiming that, all right, this guy, the library director, said I should consider moving it to a large church rather than the library. That's because they don't want my good Christian values at the library. Well, first of all, it was going to be the same event. They were just going to move locations. It was going to be the same event with the same people invited with the same public outreach and all that. So I don't see why this was retaliation for that. Second of all, if the book is specifically trying to promote biblical principles and there's going to be praying and all of that at this event and thanking God, I don't see why a church wouldn't be the appropriate venue for that, considering a lot of people who are interested in this book probably would also go to a Christian church. Seems like it makes sense. Now, if the librarian were saying like, I don't think this book should be here at the library because it has Christian values in it and therefore it should only be at a church. Like, I would still think there's nothing wrong with the librarian saying that, but at least Kirk Cameron wouldn't be a fucking liar. Here's what actually happened, okay? Emails between Morales and the publisher obtained by the Tennessean. We remember the Tennessean newspaper? That's the one we read that when we were exposing how Dave Ramsey is a dick, yeah? Good times. Show that the library director showed genuine concern about the library building's ability to handle such an event. So this wasn't the fact that it was a Christian book. This was the fact that Kirk Cameron is a celebrity, has a huge following, and when he was doing an event, there were too many people signed up to go and they didn't think the library would be able to hold enough people. There was a large church nearby and they said, hey, this church is bigger and can hold more people. Maybe it would be safer to have the event here. Nothing offensive happened. Even Kirk Cameron in his own tweet himself said, an overflow crowd. He's talking about an overflow crowd. There were more people than the location normally had capacity for coming to this event. Kirk Cameron himself admitted that this wasn't due to the religious angle of the book, but rather there were too many people and there was an overflow crowd and they couldn't all fit. Look at how crowded this is. <laughs> Look at how crowded. See? Okay. So it sounds like Kirk Cameron was playing the victim when in reality this librarian really was just trying to keep the event safe and not have it be overcrowded. All right. Our invitation was sincere to read a book during our story time, Morales wrote in an email dated February 22nd to a Brave Books representative. We guard that time because it is for small children and not adults. We work hard at not promoting any agendas left or right. So this library director is basically saying, we have story time at our library for kids. We want to make sure that there's enough room for kids to attend. And if adults want to attend, we have to prioritize the kids. There's not always room for everyone. Kirk Cameron is a big celebrity and a lot of adults wanted to come to see him as well. So the event is going to be overcrowded. We won't be able to prioritize the children at story time. Let's move the event to a bigger space. This is so reasonable. The fact that Kirk Cameron got mad about this and the fact that they ended up actually firing this guy is blowing my mind, okay? The library board voted Morales out four to three over the controversy. I guess shout out to the three people on the board who have any amount of common sense. And then this, I'm not sure how th this, this also happened. We're, we're not even going to read that out loud. That's, that's just really scary. Okay. My point with all of this is I think it's awfully hypocritical for Kirk Cameron to be talking about how he cares about our future children and what they get to hear and what they're learning and things like that, but then would act like such a, let me speak to the manager Karen type that he ends up getting a librarian fired, ends up having the entire board have to vote on this because he decided that he, as a Christian felt offended that the librarian wanted to move the event to a larger space. There was also email evidence showing that the librarian wanted Kirk Cameron to be able to hold the event in the first place and was actively working to secure this event happening. So the fact that Kirk Cameron got so butthurt over this is really upsetting to me. When things like this happen, and then this in conjunction along with the upcoming Banned Books video that I have coming out, it just really upsets me when I see there's adults out there who really seem to put up this front of caring about children. They really want to help our next generation of kids be educated, be smart, be prepared for the future, 
future, be successful adults, and then they turn around and try to get rid of attempts for more children's literature. They try to ban books, they try to get librarians fired, they try to get rid of people who are organizing children's story times. They're doing active harm to these children's education. It just seems so completely wrong and backwards to me. I feel really upset about this. I'm so sorry to the librarian who got fired over this situation. And Kurt Cameron, I'm even more disappointed in you than I was before. I was gonna say I will not be watching Kurt Cameron Saving Christmas this year, but I think I will be. You can make for some great drinking games. That movie's hilariously bad. Anyway, I will see you guys again later for more videos, but in the meantime, support small businesses, support small authors, support your local library, support librarians, and support access to literature for all. Have a fantastic day. Bye! Let's do it. Let's do it! We're on a mission from God because the world is run by the man. Boom, roasted. You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies?